Hi there, I'm Ad Corps member Luca Mealy, and it's crunch time. And no, I don't mean that I'm in a hurry. It's that time again where every year during National Farm School Month, we celebrate locally grown and raised foods, enjoy a healthy and tasty snack, and have fun in a little playful competition with some of the other states. This year, we'll be competing in the Mountain Plains region. That means we'll be competing against Colorado, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, Utah, and Wyoming for the Mountain Plains Crunch Off Champions Banner, which is awarded to the state that receives the most registered crunches per capita. Now, before anything moves on, I have a little orange-yellow tomato here to crunch on. Mmm. Alright, let's see what's next. Crunch Time was not just a competition. It was designed to support and spread local food-based programs and to support Montana producers. Also, programs such as Crunch Time are aimed at educating participants about healthy foods and nutrition choices. I talked with a local farmer in southwestern Montana to discuss his farm, crunch time, and how he sees his role in the community. Let's see it. My name is Michael Mulder. I'm the president of Old Town Farm Stand. Uh, our business is ran and owned by my wife, Roxanne, as well. And we are producers of food here in Three Forks, Montana. And uh, this has been something that's been a, a journey for us to get to this point where we are now uh, primarily producers of food for the local community. That's our business and that's what our goal and mission is, is to provide local food uh, for the community in this area. Uh, so here at Old Town Farm Stand, uh, we have a couple different things that we produce. Uh, I'm primarily responsible for the livestock, so we have uh, both sheep, we have a, a flock of sheep here, and we raise lamb as well as pasture-raised chickens. And so that's primarily what I'm responsible for. And then uh, my wife uh, is responsible for the baking. Uh, we have a variety of uh, sourdough is her specialty and other baked goods that we produce here. And then we kind of tag team on our produce. So we have a greenhouse and a, a produce growing operation uh, that we also run here at the farm. Yeah, so our produce is very seasonal and being in Montana, we have a challenging growing season. And so uh, to support that, we have a greenhouse where we grow tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, and carrots, uh, squash, peas, uh, green beans. And then we also have some cold season vegetables that we grow, broccoli and kale and lettuce um, and other greens. So uh, on a yearly basis, you know, our year starts in the winter with planning, and that's where we put together our plans for the coming season. Uh, Montana being, you know, a challenging place to grow with a short growing season, it, it, you have to be prepared, and you want to make sure that you know what your plans are. And so we spend that time in the winter preparing. In the spring, uh, we start all of our vegetables and plants uh, in greenhouses or indoors uh, to make sure that once the weather is ready in the summer, uh, we're ready to go full speed ahead. Um, and so in uh, June is typically when we're planting outdoors and we have, uh, you know, outdoor growing until the fall and we'll transition into our greenhouse primarily through the fall. And then once it gets cold enough in the winter, uh, you know, we're back to that uh, end of the year cycle and starting that back over. Uh, so th the, the best part of my job has been connecting with our local community and, and seeing um, how customers really appreciate our business. Our business is fairly new, and it's been something where you can tell that there's uh, very much a, a hunger for people to have local food options. And so it's been really neat to be able to go to farmer's markets and just talk to people and see how happy they are to have uh, local food options available to them. So one of, the, one of the cool things about growing food is being able to show people where their food comes from. I think. When you look at Montana, for example, um, nine, over 97% of the food that we eat here is brought in from another state or out of the country. And so 
a lot of people are disconnected from where their food is grown and how it's grown. And so I think um, it's been really exciting to show people, you know, how chickens grow, how uh, food is produced, and to be able to educate them on that. So probably my favorite thing are cucumbers. Uh, a fresh cucumber right off the plant is probably one of the best things. And um, my daughter, when she was really little, actually ate them like apples. So she would go out and run out to our, uh, you know, to our cucumber vines and pick one off and just start eating it just like you would an apple. Um, and she still does that to that day. And I think that, you know, that's that's the kind of uh, enthusiasm that I hope you know everybody has when they're eating, you know fresh produce. It should be delicious, it should be fresh, and it should be tasty. Yeah, I think um, it's so fun to be able to watch a plant grow. From preparing the, the earth, to planting the seed, to watching that plant grow, and then being able to produce fruit or vegetables or whatever. It's an amazing thing to watch nature um, do what it is supposed to do and to be there to help guide that process. And so I think that's that's probably something really neat that, um, you know, the crunch time concept, you know, being able to eat fresh local food, I think is so powerful because you make that connection to that entire process. I so enjoyed getting the opportunity to interview Michael and Roxanne makes some very delicious treats. You can find Old Town Farm Stand online and on Facebook and Instagram. Also, visit them at this address as well to try their amazing products. Thank you for watching and learning about Crunch Time and the operation at Old Town Farm Stand. Now I hope you get out there for Farm to School Month and crunch away on some local foods. I sure know I will. Happy crunching! Crunch time. Mmm, that was delicious.